Hey guys, in this video I'm going to make it so you can interact with the uh, widget and we're going to start with non-VR just so we can keep going this, at this pace. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go to our character, first person character, and we're going to add a widget interaction component. Whoops, not a widget. Widget interaction component. And we'll call this non-VR widget interaction. File and save. And we'll make sure this is on the visibility channel with the interaction source from the center of screen. There should be mouse. No, center of screen is good. And right. Show debug, compile, save. And let's see if this is working right away. Yeah, it's working right away. Okay, so event graph. On fire, we're going to make a new variable. Go to variable zombie phase. And if zombie phase is false, and using motion controllers is false, then we're going to Press and release key, and the key will be left mouse button. So what this will do is it'll emulate a left mouse button being clicked on uh, a widget when it's not the zombie phase. But we're going to need to set up whether it's the zombie phase or the by phase. So we're going to add the widget, or sorry, the interface to this guy for int phases, and. Uh, problem here function and property have the same name okay so let's zombo things what's the issue I don't understand what the issue is Okay, whatever. Okay, so event message, uh, sorry, event zombo phase and event by phase. So we'll set this to true. We'll set zombie phase to true if it's uh, the zombie phase. And if it's by phase, we'll set it to false. So now I need to go in the game mode. And when it spawns a new wave, we're going to get all actors of class with interface. And the interface will be our int phases. And for each, we'll do zombie phase message. We're going to copy this and check for wave complete. We're going to, instead of doing new wave here, we're going to connect this. We're going to do by phase. And then we're going to delay. We're going to put this to a variable. Time between waves. I'm sorry, by phase time. And we're going to set this to, I don't know. I don't want it to be too long, so we'll just set the five for now. And then we'll do a new wave. But we're also gonna this will put one on between the last wave, so we're gonna we're gonna make sure that this if the current wave is less than the number of waves. And if it is, then we will do the delay. Otherwise we will just call new wave. Right, it's fine. Should it be less than or equal to? No, right. Okay. Okay, so by phase, and new wave calls zombie phase. 
All right, so I think we're good there. But the only thing we'll do now is we'll go to back to our shop. And uh, sorry, we're gonna actually go to base shop. Yeah, I guess we'll do this. Okay, so override zumbo phase, override buy phase. When it's the buy phase. Yeah, whatever. Event, event buy phase. There we go. Event zombo phase. No. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, let's go back to our base shop because we don't need this stuff, right? Okay. Set visibility to true if it's the buy phase and if it's the zombie phase, set visibility to false. Propagate to children, sure, why not? So now if we go into the game, it should be the zombie phase, so there should be invisible. Kill the zombies. And it's visible again, and we can buy. Now it's this phase again, all right. So the only thing I didn't notice is it didn't set our weapon when we clicked. <clears throat> so let's figure out why that's going wrong. Right, so if using motion controllers was true, that's not what we want. This will do off a different area. We could just make this a select. Yeah, we'll make this a select. Okay, so I think that should work. And we'll also make the buy phase a little bit longer. It's just it's a little bit too quick. So we'll change it to, I don't know, eight seconds. Don't want it to be too long. So let's try again. Go to our store, buy our rifle, and it's still not working. Huh. Always something. Ability. Disability. <laughs> okay, so let's figure out what's going wrong again. I'm having really bad luck making these tutorials. Okay, so...
I think we had it set to the wrong thing, so we'll do left mouse button. Yeah, there we go. Now it's working, kind of. I think, right. Um, so we're just going to make this, when it goes to the buy phase, we'll also make it so it stops throwing our weapons to fire, because that would be silly. There we go. Now we're kicking. Alright, so it should be a few more seconds till more guys spawn. Alright, so we got our menu working now. Um, it's a bit messy, but... All right, so that'll do for this video, I think. We've got our store to buy different weapons, uh, which we can expand, and we will. And uh, yeah, it only works during the buy phase, so when there's no zombies. So um, for fun, we'll just put in, well, we'll do that in the next video, actually. So for now, this will be good. So I'll see you guys in the next video.